Nearly 28 years after the minimum age to possess to purchase tobacco products was raised from 17 to 18 years old. The FDA now says that tobacco retailers cannot sell to anyone under the age of 21. Now, this law actually took effect immediately after President Trump signed a spending bill last week. Part of that bill included the age increase. Our Chase Beefelt went downtown to see how people feel about the change, including the opinion from a local tobacco shop owner. So the FDA says it's now illegal for tobacco retailers to sell to anyone under the age of 21. But how do people here in Boise feel about it? We have a bit more life experience after 21 yeah. than by the time we're 18. It's a difference of three years. Do you, do you think that's going to make a, a big difference or, or what? Absolutely, because your mind doesn't even begin to function until you're 25 in terms of cognitive thinking. I don't really know. You know, I mean, what is, what is choice and what age are you old enough to be able to make a choice? It seems like it would be a healthy move. Yeah. You know, kids don't always think it long term. I'm not sure it'll stop things or change things, but it's a great idea. Many people agree that raising the age to buy or sell tobacco products is a good thing. But Ryan Sturman says it won't be the best for his business. It's not going to drive them in here in droves. <laughs> Ryan owns and operates a cigar shop off 10th and Bannock Street. He says that all the controversy surrounding vaping has already had a negative effect on selling cigars. Unfortunately, we get lumped in with cigarettes and vape. And on the premium side, it's more about leisure, conversation, talking. You're not inhaling the smoke. You're just tasting it like a glass of wine and then blowing out the smoke. So selling tobacco products to people under 21 is a federal crime. That's directly from the FDA's website. But there still isn't anything written in state code about it. Ryan isn't taking any chances. I've actually already carded today because of the 21. We're not about skirting laws around here. I'd like to follow and be on the up and up, so we'll just go ahead and stick with that. It's only illegal for them to for them to buy it or for retailers to sell it, but do you think it's going to stop people under the age of 21 from smoking cigarettes or tobacco products? Probably not. Ryan says adults should be able to make their own decisions. Personally, I feel if you can pick the leader of the free world, borrow $400,000 to buy a house, I'm pretty sure you're mature enough to decide if you want to smoke a cigarette or not. And Chase, you spent the day actually reaching out to Idaho agencies to talk to them about exactly how this will all work out. And it was pretty hard to get any clear cut answers on exactly what this will look like for state law. Yeah, Joe, I mean, there's always a big gray area when we talk about federal law in accordance to state law here. But uh, I, Idaho doesn't have any explicit code written right now. You know, we were talking about that earlier, restricting the sale to 18 year olds. However, the governor's office just emailed me right before this story aired uh, it, with a statement. It says the state of Idaho will ensure compliance with federal law regarding the federal decision to raise the federal minimum age for the use of tobacco products. The goal moving forward is to support Idaho retailers as they make that necessary change. And a lot of the retailers we talked to, you know, we dropped in, tried to talk to them. They're kind of in limbo right now. They don't really know what to do. And uh, ISP also said it's a regulation versus an enforcement issue. So they're working with the, um, the Idaho Department of Health to try to figure out what they're going to do with that. But uh, that's where we're at right now. You know, there's a lot of gray area. We don't really know what's going on here in Idaho, but we'll figure it out as soon as everyone's back from the holidays. Were you able to talk to any state legislators or any state lobbying groups that would be pushing for a Tobacco 21 bill like they have in the past in the legislature in Idaho? Well, we reached out to them because that's a super important question, right? With the legislative, with the legislative session coming up, we really want to know, is this something they're going to be pushing? And we reached out. Uh, and they didn't get back to us, unfortunately. Okay. So we'll have that answer soon for you on KTVB. I know we had spoken with some Tobacco 21 folks a few weeks back when we were talking about vaping, and they said they really wanted to go for it this session. So we'll see what that looks like, maybe if their bill looks different than in years past. Yeah. Jace, thanks for the report. We appreciate it. Thank you, we'll Joe. check in with you soon. Also, don't forget to vote in today's poll. Do you think the age to buy tobacco products should be raised from 18 to 21? Head to KTVB.com slash vote or click on the Vote Now tile on the KTVB app. Keep that poll open throughout the show for you, and we'll have the results at the end of our 6 o'clock show. You can see there, heavily in favor of the yes votes.